Hi everyone, this is Kalyan Kumar and welcome to another edition of Unboxing and Review in Product Review. For those of you who don't have much of an idea about HDMI splitter and HDMI switcher, I'm putting the link of a video I had made several months back in which you can see the demonstration of the two devices. Basically, a splitter will split the HDMI signal into two or more parts and one can view the same source, same HDMI source in more than one monitor. A switcher on the other hand is the reverse of a splitter. Uh, let's say you have only one HDMI input in your TV, but you have several HDMI sources such as Blu-ray, gaming consoles, laptops, smart TV boxes like Apple TV or Android TV boxes, etc. Since the TV has only one HDMI input, you will be able to connect only one source into the TV at a time. To view another source, you would need to unplug the previous source and attach the other source. A switcher helps you with this. It has several HDMI inputs and one HDMI output. Connect all the sources to the HDMI input of the switcher and connect the HDMI output of the switcher to the TV. Using the remote provided, you can toggle between all the sources. This way, there is no need to unplug and replug the devices. The device that I'm going to unbox and review in this video is a HDMI switcher which behaves not only as the traditional switcher by way of watching one source at a time, it can also help you view a maximum of four sources at the same time by splitting the screen into four equal parts. This device is called the Goronia HDMI 4 into 1 Quad Multi Viewer Splitter with Seamless Switcher IR Control. That is quite a mouthful. Now using this device, you can view one source at a time, two at a time by splitting the screen, and you can even view four sources at a time in different ways. So let's first do the unboxing and then the review of this device. So first let's examine the box. The box doesn't specify the brand. The branding is on the device itself. This is more likely a generic device, a Chinese product, and it supports 1080p. HDMI 1.2 and 1.3 compliant. It supports 30 to 36 bit color and is also HDCP compliant. This means it will strip away any HDCP protection that a device may have like Apple TV, Amazon Fi TV or Fi TV stick. The back of the box lists the various features. A diagram is also provided to make you understand how to use it. It shows the quad view. So let me open the box. There are no tapes sealing the box by the way. And there you go, the box is open now. The first thing you get is the user manual. And it says HDMI 4 into 1 quad multi viewer and seamless switcher. And at the back, it says, Thanks for purchasing this product. Then it tells you about the remote. As you can see, you can get four windows you get one plus three, four with two big and two small. That's it. So let's take out the device now. And now you see the branding on the device, Goronia. And this is the 5 volt adapter. This is the remote along with the circular quadruple A battery. So what's in the box? The box contains the HDMI switcher, the IR remote control, user manual, 
and a DC 5 volt adapter. Now let's see the top side. It is overall metallic and therefore heavy and it weighs about 460 grams. The top of the device has the name of the product. Let's see the front side now. The front part from left to right has the first IR receiver, the power LED and LEDs for the four sources. These will light up when the sources are connected and active. Then you have five buttons for toggling between various view modes. The first button lets you view each source at a time. By hitting that button either on the device or using the remote, you will be toggling a max of four sources one by one and you can do so seamlessly. And in my experiment I found that as far as the cameras were concerned, if you connect cameras, the cameras can toggle so seamlessly, but you have any other device like a laptop or Amazon Fire Stick, which is what I used for testing, I found that whenever I used to switch to the Amazon Fire Stick, I found there was a delay. And as far as the cameras are concerned, it's, there is a very small or almost negligible delay between the switching of sources. The second button shows one source occupying the major part of the screen and the other three occupy equal and smaller part of the screen. Now you can see all sources but one source appears bigger. Not only that, you can also decide which source would be bigger by pressing the same switch again and again. The third button gives you the quad mode. All the four sources are viewable on the same screen by splitting the screen into four equal parts. This is the quad view. Pressing it again gives a mode in which there are two big sources and two small sources, which can also be customized. The next two buttons are for sound and resolution. The sound button will let you toggle between sources for the sound. Since only one audio can be played at any given point of time, it will tell you which source is actively playing the audio. The next button is a resolution button for toggling between 720p and 1080p. This toggling will change the output resolution from 720 to 1080 and vice versa. Let's see the back side. The back of the device has the HDMI ports. It has four HDMI input ports, one HDMI output port and a DC 5 volt power port. Now let's check out the remote. This is made up of plastic and pretty lightweight. On the top you have a power button. Then you have four buttons numbered one to four. Press any button and that source will display on the screen. Below this, there are two buttons of sound cycling and resolution. Below these, there are three buttons that change the view just like we saw in the device. And now let's talk about the production value. Now let us check if it can be used in a multicam production. In multicam production, one has to connect all production sources to the device and by toggling the switch one can change sources live while recording. One can connect the device to a HDMI capture card and then record live while switching sources. Now the only issue I found was as I said if you have anything other than a camera you will have a problem and secondly the sound icon will keep coming on the screen. Of course if you want to remove it make sure there is nothing that comes over the icon and you can remove it in post-production, uh, which I often do in Premiere Pro. The exact process will be described in one of my upcoming videos. So that's about it. I will be using this device to help me look at the frame of each of my cameras simultaneously and uh, not that much for production, of course. 
If you have any question regarding this product, want me to do the review of another product, have any comments, suggestions and queries, then please drop them in the comment section below. If you find this video useful, then please do hit the like button and also go through the other videos of my channel. And if you find them interesting, then do subscribe and share these videos. With that, this is Kalyan Kumar signing off. Have a great day. Goodbye and thank you for watching.